Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Pear Tree Cut Files um, in collaboration with Go Go Getaway. Um, it's the uh, Pear Tree Cut Files first birthday and we're having a celebration crop um, and uh, Go Go are sponsoring this sketch challenge. So um, you saw the sketch um, pop up there um, and uh, I am making a sample layout to go with the sketch. Um, okay, so um, I have um, got the uh, vaccine, sorry, COVID vaccine time cut file. Um, I have um, gone for just the word vaccine, um, not the other two words um, as well. Um, and that was just because I wanted to, it didn't quite work for me. I didn't want to write uh, I didn't want to write COVID. <clears throat> I wanted to just have the, fact, you know, the word vaccine. Um, and I decided to go for vaccine done rather than vaccine time. Um, I've already done my first, I already had my first vaccine a while, a while ago and it made me feel really rubbish. So I didn't have um, any photos uh, because I, some, I, I, well, me and my husband went at the same time and um, I was like, come on, we need a photo. And he was like, no, definitely not, not doing that. Um, <laughs> Um, so I was going to grab him the next day at home and make him pose and that rather than being out, he might have been self-conscious about that. Um, but, uh, he was, that we were both really unwell. <laughs> so, um, so I didn't get any photos of that one. So second time round, second vaccine, um, I went on my own and, uh, I thought I would, um, I would take a photo. I also asked for and got a sticker second time round, which I didn't get, uh, first time round. Um, and, um, I uh, decided to take a photo outside. I've got my mask on. I'm holding up my sticker. Um, and uh, I just liked the phrase vaccine done, tick, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so I'm playing around with the sketch right now. So you'll see that it has a large panel of, say, pattern paper in the background. It doesn't have to be pattern paper. It could be anything. Um, and um, I wasn't sure if I should have it on the side, you know, on the wonk effectively, you know, at an angle or over a anchored over to one side um, or you know any yeah you know, I'm trying all sorts of things here I, I was trying to go get away from just doing it perfectly central but in the end that's what I did <laughs> sometimes straight lines just work best right oh look I'm trying it up there I've tried it like that <laughs> I've tried it over to the left um, I don't think I tried it over to the right um, but so uh, yeah I'm thinking about doing it at an angle like this I quite like that I don't know why I didn't go for it actually um, but uh, but I didn't I decided in the end to go there we go back to the straight line um, obviously the sketch has the word has the words large title of course that works really well for pear tree cut files of course uh, because lots of the cut files are large titles um, of course you can cut them any size you like um, but uh, so I've got mine, it's pretty, pretty big, it's pretty long. Um, I have cut it in white and I've backed it in a pink, um, pink, darker pinkish colour pattern paper. Um, and everything else pretty much that I'm using um, on this layer is Pink Press Studio Happy Blooms. Um, so over on the right I have a uh, frame um, and uh, a puffy frame and some other bits and pieces. A pocket is one of them. I wanted a pocket to put my card in, you know, my vaccine card. Um, Right, so I've just skipped forward a little bit here and uh, I have um, distressed the edges of that panel for the background and I've also stitched through diagonal lines of uh, machine stitching um, on my sewing machine. Um, so now that that's stuck down and sewn, that means I can now build the rest of the layout and get on with it because I'm really taking my time for some reason. This just wasn't coming together that well. <laughs> um, but you can see behind um, the photo is a pocket. Um, and uh, that is going to hold my vaccine card. It's also going to hold my journaling. I know that the journaling appears um, at the bottom. Oh, sorry, I just knocked over my microphone. Um, I know the journaling appears at the bottom of the um, sketch, um, but actually I did think about doing it there, but I decided in the end that I wouldn't, I would just leave off the journaling completely and then pop it inside the card that was behind my photo. So that's worked really well for me because I, I wanted a pocket for my... Um, my vaccine card. Um, so this is just another item to go inside the pocket. Um, okay, so I'm going to um, layer up some um, flowers here. So I've got some bottom right. Um, as you can see on the sketch, um, there's a big cluster at the bottom right. Um, and then there's a cluster at the top left of the sketch. Um, there's nothing on the top left of the photo, um, but uh, I seem to be getting carried away and putting flowers there as well. I seem to have a real diagonal theme going on here. Um, 
So uh, that's fine. You know, a sketch is only a starting point and you can interpret it in any, any way you like. Um, as long as you can see the sketch in there somewhere. Um, and in, to be honest, that's to be entered for a challenge. Um, but if you were just making a layout not for a challenge, didn't want, didn't want to be entered for a challenge, you could just use any sketch as a starting point. And even if it looks nothing like the sketch by the time you've finished, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Because the sketch is there to inspire you. It's like a jumping off point. Um, so, um, so anyway. Anyway, but to be entered for this uh, sketch challenge, um, you will need to be able to see the sketch. <laughs> of course, you can rotate sketches or flip them, mirror them. Um, so um, have fun with it if it's not, not quite perfect for you. If your photo is looking in the wrong direction, swap it over. Um, you know, you can, you can do that kind of thing. Um, okay, so I'm really kind of building up my cluster around my photo. I haven't done much at the t on the top left yet. Oh, I should say that I got a sticker um, from my COVID, in my COVID uh, vaccine um, and I turned it into a flare badge. So I'm lucky to have a flare making machine. Um, it only makes um, a specific size. I think they're one inch um, and the sticker was just slightly too big so the wording is slightly curved over the metal badge um, but uh, you can still read it and uh, I'm delighted that I got that sticker and I've turned it into a flare badge and it's actually on my layout now uh, captured forever so that's so super awesome um, okay so I am um, just getting all my bits and pieces in place, sticking them down, committing. Um, not only do I have um, Happy Blooms ephemera, I'm now working on Happy Happy Blooms um, puffy stickers. I've got more florals. I've got butterflies. Um, I've got um, the puffy frame, as I mentioned. Um, I've also got um, some other stickers and things and more oh, I'm starting actually now to work on the cluster at the top um the sketch has a tag in it but I haven't gone for a tag in my cluster and of course that's a way of adapting the sketch you definitely don't need to do um exactly what's on the sketch like for example I've used flowers not stars um I always put stars on my sketches <laughs> um but uh, I don't always use them in in the layout um so they could be hearts or they could just be they just represent embellishments really um so uh top left to say i've got a big a couple of floral sprays and i've got uh, some, a puffy sticker that says love our life i've got a rainbow puffy sticker and i've come in with some um chipboard flares there by pink fresh studio happy blooms again um and uh, i'm just there they are there i'm just going to put a few of them here and there so i'm just going to tuck them in where they work so a little bit under that uh top left cluster and then some more down to the right hand side uh, another rainbow and um, of course rainbows went really well with this layout because of the whole NHS uh, rainbow um, motif that was kind of um, taken as the symbol of the NHS during the pandemic um, I've got a little postage stamp sticker there that I'm just adding in place and um, some other puffy leaf stickers. Um, I've added the word noteworthy at the bottom. Um, for the word done, I've used uh, more Pink for Studio Happy Blooms um, green alpha th uh, stickers. Um, they're just um, underneath the word vaccine. Um, that's not represented on um, the sketch, um, but um, I wanted to extend my title a little bit in that respect, so I have done so. Um, so I'm just um, making sure my edges are well um, ruffled, distressed, however you want to say it. Um, I've got giving them some extra fold up around the sides uh, to give lots of extra dimension. I do love having lots of dimension. Um, okay, so just coming in with the last few um, puffy stickers now. Um, I've got, I say, more by Pink Fresh. Um, oh, no, these are not by Pink Fresh, I don't think. They are exclusive uh, hip kit, I believe. Um, so, um, yeah, just adding a few bits and pieces, whatever kind of fits and works well with um, the clusters and the colour scheme um, and that aren't too themed. You know, um, it wouldn't be any good to put like a giraffe on there. Although I do do that, do do that sometimes. <laughs> I embrace the random. Um, a few um, enamel dots just going on now. Um, just a few around each cluster. Um, and I've put a few butterflies in place as well. I've got a large butterfly above my um, photograph. Um, there's my journaling card going into, no, sorry, that's my vaccine card going into the pocket. And then I have my little note that says memo there um, that will also go into the, the pocket and be, and be a place for my journaling. Um, and I, of course, could write front and back. Have I done that? I might have only just done 
one side. Oh no, I did do both sides. So I hadn't had a bit to say. Um, so, uh, so yeah, okay. So I'm just going to splatter my layout with some white paint now. Um, and uh, I've done that a bit prematurely because I want to add a few more bits um, to the layout. So I don't know what I was thinking. Um, maybe that I thought I was done and actually it turns out I wasn't. Um, <laughs> that happens sometimes. So I've just splattered with white paint. Now I've decided that I want to put in some twiddles of gold thread because they would work really well with these clusters. Um, I haven't been using the twiddles as much lately for some reason. I'm not really sure why, um, but uh, they definitely go well with a floral um, cluster. So uh, just poking some of those in there, obviously being very careful not to get, not to smudge my white paint. I can't believe I've done that. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm going to do one at the top as well, although actually um, when I came to do it, it, it didn't quite work out, it didn't look right, so actually I've left it as just the one at the bottom right cluster instead, and think what I did with my, I did another second piece of thread and I've poked that under another section on that section, does that make sense? So I've got effectively got two, but they read as one in that area at the bottom right. Um, okay, so um, now thinking about whether I can um, incorporate some of my wonderful Bramble Fox Perspective stash. I've got quite a bit of it, so it's quite nice to um, get it used up. So um, just putting in some butterflies. They work really well because I've already got butterflies on the layout and they're a lovely mint green colour, which is all over the layout as well. Uh, so I'm just going to put a couple of those in. Um, I've got uh, an open one and a solid one on each of the two main clusters. I'm just going to get those stuck down. I tend to use um, glossy accents uh, to stick those um, in place, holds them in quite well, I find. I just have to make sure that my butterfly at the top of the pocket isn't going to stick to the items that's in the pocket because the pocket doesn't, isn't closed. Um, it, the cards are poking out of the top, so I just need to make sure that there's no adhesive that goes onto the cards and sticks them inside the pocket. That wouldn't be any good at all. Um, finishing off now just with a few sequins by Spiegel Mum Scraps. I had to go digging and find some sequins that went well with this colour palette. Um, and of course I had some because I have loads. Um, so uh, yeah, they are just being sucked down now with some glossy accents. Um, and that is me done. My journaling I've done off screen and uh, it's inside the, um, inside the pocket. Uh, so there you go, um, all finished there. Um, I hope you have enjoyed um, this layout and I hope you enjoy the crop and the sketch challenge in particular, um, at, which is sponsored by Go Go Getaway. Um, and uh, yeah, so enjoy playing along. Um, thank you very, very much for um, joining me today. Here's another look at that sketch. Um, yeah, and uh, happy birthday to Pear Tree Cut Files. Um, thank you so much for joining me. That was Nikki Rowland.